The Tang Dynasty Tour Chapter 2 Chang'an in a Dream Section 24 The Hard Days of Ho Yet Niu Jianhu was very happy, although he limped like a big horse monkey when he walked, he still couldn't stop his interest in walking. Old Niu and Mrs. Niu were in tears, this was the first time in five years that their son stood up on his own. It was at this time that Mrs. Niu found that Niu Jianhu had grown a lot taller, even surpassing herself, Mrs. Niu stood on tiptoe and wiped the sweat on her son's forehead with a handkerchief, laughed and cried for a while, and fell into madness. The old housekeeper held the second prosthetic foot made by Yunya and didn't let go. Yunya snatched it back. Shouted Niu Jianhu, who was living in the yard and was crazy, Brother Tiger, don't get excited first, try this foot again, and I will modify it if I feel that it is inappropriate. It's right, it's right, I'm all right now, there's nothing wrong with it. The cow doesn't want to leave the prosthetic foot for a moment, and people always know how to cherish it after losing it. He sat on the couch for five years, didn't go out, didn't see anyone, and at this moment he was in a relaxed mood, and he couldn't wait to run from Chang'an to Luyang now. Nonsense, if it's suitable, how can you limp? Obviously that prosthetic foot is taller, replace it, I'll fix it. The soft plastic body made of beef tendon is full of elasticity, especially when adding light yellow dye, it is not much different from real feet, there is no high hardness plastic, Yunya embeds a thin steel plate into it as a skeleton, it is all good soft steel, if there is no accident with one foot, it is not a problem to use it for 10 years. In particular, the appearance of the carved foot is very similar to Niu Jianhu's right foot, this is the craftsmanship of the old carver of Bo Yuxuan, Yun Ye is regarded as a celestial, and he wants to leave him in Yunfu but is ignored. The replaced feet are much better, Yun Ye asked Niu Jianhu to grab the door frame and hang down naturally, and check the installed feet, fortunately, the consistency is good, considering that the weight of the feet must be consistent, a counterweight was made on the prosthetic feet. Niu Jianhu walked a few steps, the bumpiness of the body was reduced a lot, and the rest was familiarity, the more familiar it was, the more naturally the body would adjust its center of gravity, and it would be no different from ordinary people in the future. It's just this ghost, the old man is not surprised. Lao Cheng said cooling words beside him heartlessly, which suddenly dispelled Yun Ye's desire to continue bragging. You old dog doesn't spit out words, Xiao Ye makes feet for Jian Hu, he has hardly slept for the past few days, the old man is distressed, you don't praise a few words, but you have to say strange things, isn't it bad to bully my old cow steel knife? Do you like this child if it weren't for his Yun family, he has been left with a single seedling, the old man would have been raised as a son, you pinched him twice before, and the old man has not yet come to you to settle accounts, and now you dare to say big things to me, on the horse or off the horse, is as you choose, and today I am happy to fight three hundred rounds with you. As he spoke, he asked the guard to lead the horse and carry the blade. Lao Cheng liked it very much in his heart, and Lao Niu was so happy that he wanted to scream, the most common way for the two generals to vent their feelings was to fight, and they came out of the bandits' den, who dared to expect them to have a civilized way to vent. 
ignoring the two martial arts maniacs who were ping-ponging in the martial arts arena, Aunt Niu and Aunt Cheng pulled Yun Ye to the greenhouse, which was the same as the Yun family. The Niu family has already learned the art, and the table full of meals made Yun Ye's mouth water, fresh spinach, and watery cucumbers, and there is still half a watermelon. Yun Ye disdained meat, broke half of the cucumber and stuffed it in his mouth to chew, and didn't forget to give half a stick to Cheng Kumo next to him while eating, as for Niu Jianhu, he had already rushed to the yard to practice walking. Your uncle Chen knows that you have a good mouth, and he specially went to the palace to get it for you, which made his majesty unhappy. Aunt Chen was giving Yun Ye vegetables, and at the same time blasted Chen Kumo out. Aunt Niu was busy taking off Yun Ye's shawl and said, You see that this child is greedy, and he can't see green vegetables in the winter, so he suffers. Xiao Ye, what did you eat in winter when you were with your master before Cheng Kumo grabbed another cucumber? There are all kinds of melons and fruits, oranges, watermelons, bananas, pineapples, grapes, apples, pears, and something called ginseng fruit, which is so unpalatable that I was caught secretly throwing it away. There are all kinds of green vegetables, there are peppers, eggplants, what you call kunlun purple melons, cabbages, anyway, there are too many, I can't count them. Something flying in the sky, running on the ground, and swimming in the water. Yunye misses the ordinary life of the future generations too much, and the high-ranking officials at the provincial and ministerial level in the Tang dynasty are not as comfortable as the small citizens of the later generations, and he feels pitiful when he thinks about it, although it is a bit embarrassing to regard the matter of his son's throwing ginseng fruit on his own, but who knows. Isn't this the life that only immortals can live, Xiao Ye, you have lost a lot when you enter the world. It's my brother who just understands people, I still dreamed of the days with my master last night. But then again, a manly man should beat the world with a bare ass, without these things, we create ourselves, just start by eating, and when spring comes, first hoop a few kills, burn bricks, burn cement, build a large conservatory, and then connect the flue below, and heat the ground, I don't believe that there will be no way to grow a few kinds of green vegetables in winter, and they will be sold all over Chang'an when the time comes. Yun Ye was talking nonsense. I'll leave this job to me, you arrange it, I'll do it, and then call Tiger, this is a rich business. Cheng Kumo had already begun to fantasize about the situation where the mountains were full of green vegetables. When the two ants saw that the brothers were blowing enthusiastically, they joked on the side, saying that they must personally carry the vegetable basket to the mansions of the major countries to sell vegetables. I heard that just after a foot was installed, Niu Ziyahaya, who had been lame for five years, ran fast, and I don't know what kind of foot he was on, could it be the legendary flying foot traveling thousands of miles in a day, walking 800 at night, and stepping on rivers and lakes is like walking on flat ground, crossing the high mountains, and crossing the city is a piece of cake. Hearing the rumors in the market reported by Li Chengqian, his Majesty Li Er's eyes were about to bulge, and he could travel thousands of miles a day. Horses can't run so fast, and they still walk through the city and the village. Bullshit, could it be that Yun Ye put not legs on Niu Jianhu, but a pair of wings? Jianhu, do you believe that Yun Ye put a foot on Niu Jianhu? Li Er asked his son who was becoming increasingly princely. 
enlightening the father, with the child's understanding of Yun Ye, I am afraid that the matter of putting feet on Niu Jian who is true, but it is a joke that he travels thousands of miles a day, I am afraid that there is something strange in it, and the child is stupid and can't figure out what the truth is. Li Cheng Jian replied seriously. You can think so, my father is very happy, the son is silent, the strange power is confused, Yun Ho may be an extremely smart person, and there are some special ways to make disabled people like ordinary people, but the world is ignorant, and if they can't find the answer, they will speculate randomly, and imagine a fairy-like character out of thin air.